so welcome back um this I I haven't done a talk through video in quite some time now and or like a voiceover at all I just want to clarify something right now because it's gonna bug me I have a lisp um, because I recently got my tongue pierced so hopefully that doesn't bug any of you guys but I really wanted to film and I really wanted to talk through with you guys or voice over I just didn't know which one but it turned into a talk through so hopefully it doesn't sound that bad <laughs> um, if it does then it's probably gonna just be like a voice over or you know just the step by step thing that I did um yeah hopefully it'll be going away very soon I've already had my piercing for like a week now so it should be fading away it's not as bad but the only reason why I think is because the bar is long because it's still healing so nothing I can do about that <laughs> um anyways I just did the eye makeup look I didn't do like a whole face just because I feel like I've been doing the same face makeup for you know the past couple videos so I didn't want to bore you guys with the whole thing and make it too long a video but I recently did this eye look a couple days ago or maybe a week ago or something like that and I posted on my Instagram and I've been getting requests from friends from people I don't know and they've been wanting me to do this look for you guys so well they've been wanting me to film the look so I decided to sit down and film it for you guys so yeah and also a navy one very similar will be coming up too because I did that one like a couple days ago and again it's been requested and I don't always film looks that I do like dramatic looks like this I don't always film it just because I want to see how it turns out but yeah um it's very green. I love how it came out. Sorry, I'm like looking at the viewfinder to make sure I'm in focus. Yeah, I love how it came out. And if you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to begin by using the Dry Cosmetics Lay All Day um, Setting Spray. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys. This list is like getting to me right now, but yeah. So I'm going to spray that all over my face. And I like to put it on directly towards my eyes to give it a nice base as well. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to just prime my eyes. Let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a closer look. And my baby just woke up right now so that's perfect timing <laughs> um yeah so hopefully as you can see i'm trying to get like new angles and stuff like that so hopefully you can see so i'm just going to begin by priming my eyes and i'm just going to put that all over my eye my eyelid and up towards the brow bone oh my gosh I feel like I haven't done talk to in forever so I do apologize okay and then after that I'm gonna be taking the color tattoo from Maybelline and this is in the shade edgy emerald and I'm gonna use this as a base as well just to so just so the color can come off a lot more pigmented and better because I noticed when I did the first when I did the look the first time it it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be so I'm just gonna apply that just on my lid I'm not gonna go any higher than that or any I'm not gonna go past the crease actually did work today so surprise I'm even filming right now and my back is hurting a little bit so bear with me guys if I'm like slouching or 
moving a lot because my back is killing me and because I'm sitting on the floor. So that's fun. Um, whoa. So I'm going to be taking the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be taking that green shade right there and actually this is like the first time I've used that shade when I created this like the first time. I hardly even touched this palette which is surprising so and I'm just going to apply that all over the top of the, the cream color because if you can tell like it grabbed it a whole lot better. And if you didn't see the look, it's on my Instagram. And if you're not following me, go ahead and follow or feel free to follow. And you will see the look that I actually did. So, um, after that, I'm just going to take... I'm going to take a mixture of where is it? these two shades right here. And I'm going to... I'm just going to kind of put it in the crease and blend it upwards along with picking up a little bit of the green. So, if you got that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go back. It's like, oh, I'm in so much pain right now. Hopefully my baby stays calm because he will be starts getting fussy when he sees me filming because he wants the attention so hopefully he stays like that. And you're just gonna keep blending it out. Just blend till your fingers fall off you guys. I know. You see, my baby can blend your fingers all off. <laughs> Take that lighter shade and just sort of blend a little bit on the top of it just to give it like a nice lighter transition so it's not too green if you know what i mean i feel like i cannot talk today so and then i'm just going to take some more of the green because it kind of came off a little bit it kind of wear, wore off and I'm just gonna pack some more on top just like that and then I'm going to take that same blending brush that I use for the brown and just slightly dip it into the green and kind of blend it in the crease as well so it kind of has a nice transition um, from the green to the brown so it's not like harsh lines everywhere so yeah that's pretty much it and then I'm gonna take a smaller well the brush that I used for the brown for um towards the brow bone I'm going to take um I'm gonna take this shade right here and this is like it's like a nice shimmery um pink color ish and i'm just gonna apply that to the inner corner and on the green as well and it's not gonna come off pink or white it's gonna have like a nice light green um because when you're blending the both of the green and the pink it's gonna come off like it's gonna have like a nice green hue to it there's the words i was looking for There you go. After that, I really like, I've been loving simple, like, not a whole lot of shades lately, so I don't like using a whole lot of colors at once, if that makes sense. I'm going to take my liquid liner from NYC, and this is, and this is in the shade, um, something black. I don't remember the shade, but. It wore off 
and I'm just gonna do a nice wing liner hopefully you'll be able to see it um, I'm probably gonna speed through this process because it takes a while and it's a very taking the small like shader pencil brush not shader pencil brush and I'm gonna be taking that green and then I'm going to just um, smudge underneath the eyes and then as I am smudging it underneath the eye well near my waterline I'm going to drag it towards the wing so I'm just going to drag it underneath the wing so it's not too much pigmentation but you know just enough make sense I'm going to be taking the the Ardell Studio FX Lashes in 105 and then I'm going to be taking this duo um, glue and this is actually like a wand applicator and I have been loving this more than the squeezy tube because it dries so much more and you get more of a precise line than the squeezy tube because sometimes it gets everywhere and I hate it but this one um, in the beginning it is a little messy so just warning and yeah it does dry faster than the squeezy tube and I'm just gonna apply that. No, I just want to do. Yeah, I forgot to mention that, but. Um, that's the completed eye look. I'm gonna finish off my face makeup and then I will be back. <laughs> okay, beauties, so that is the final look. Um, I'm just gonna be setting my eyes and my face with the Dry Cosmetics Lay All Day Setting Spray in Tea Ginger. 